Hello and welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sydney and I'm so glad that you're here with me. Today I am going to teach you how to have a better sense of personal style. I'm going to break this video down into six practical, simple steps that you can take to instantly transform how you feel in an outfit. This video is for beginners, people who've never tried to change up their sense of style and who are still wearing some of the stuff their parents picked out for them in middle school. And it's also for people who are super into fashion and are just looking to refine their taste and take their fashion to the next level. And as always, I would love to hear from you guys in the comment section. Let me know what your favorite clothing item that you currently own is. My first tip is find inspiration. Fashion can be so much more than just pieces of cloth that you put on because apparently it's frowned upon to walk around naked. Fashion can be about outwardly expressing what you're feeling on the inside. Fashion can be about belonging to a community. It can be about independence or rebellion. Fashion can be about making a statement or taking a stand. Fashion is a creative outlet. It's a way to design every single day and to wear those designs on your body. And fashion is about designing your character and customizing your avatar. Fashion can be about identity and sexuality. Your fashion is what you make it. So make it work for you and not against you. So if you're relatively new to the world of fashion and figuring out what your tastes are, what you like, what looks good on you, what makes you feel your best, then my first piece of advice is to start looking for inspiration. What do you like to see on other people? What resonates with you? What makes you feel good when you look at it? What are you drawn towards? You can do this through so many different ways. You can observe celebrities, see what you like that they're wearing, what looks good on them, and what you think you'd like to wear. You can also do this through digital platforms like Pinterest. That is where I have gotten so much of my fashion inspiration over the years. It is how I developed my own personal sense of style, so I'll probably reference it a lot. If you're not on Pinterest and you're trying to improve your fashion, please get on Pinterest. That is the number one way that I have improved my sense of style and just figured out what I liked in general. A lot of times we think we know what we like, but when we go to curate it ourselves, it's just a disaster and it just doesn't work out how we envisioned it in our heads. So my practical tip with this one is download Pinterest or go on Pinterest. And if you're trying to figure out just like where to start, what is my taste? What do I like? I want you to just blindly pin anything that resonates with you. So if you're scrolling and a picture pops out, just pin it, don't even think about it. And specifically we're talking about outfit photos, there's tons of stuff on Pinterest. Don't overanalyze it, don't think for a second, just pin it and put it in one big board. Don't even worry about sorting it yet. And then once you've gotten like a few hundred photos, I want you to go through this board that you've created with all of your pins. And I want you to kind of go each individual photo by photo and kind of pick out what is it about that that you like the most? What do you think stands out to you? What would you you like to see on yourself and then just write it down and pay attention to the things that are repeating. You want to pay attention to what you consistently are liking. And this is a great starting out point for someone who's just trying to kind of figure out their overall vibe. And my practical advice for finding inspiration for those who have maybe been in the fashion world for a little bit longer and are just kind of trying to refine their personal style is that you've got to stop seeing everything through the lens of aesthetic or niche boxes. I think in the fashion world, we love to categorize things like, oh, this girl is Lana Del Rey core, and this girl is cottage core, and this girl is emo goth, or this girl's a laid back rock star 90s chick. This girl's a 70s groovy babe. Like all of these little niches that we're getting <laughs> obsessed with, they can be great to help people discover what they like, but once you're deep in it and you're kind of like, okay, I identify with these specific niches, in order to kind of hit that next level, that next layer of personal style and to really stand out, be a trendsetter and be original. You've got to stop seeing pieces as belonging to specific aesthetics and start seeing them as individual pieces and whether or not they resonate with you and your personality and who you are and who you would like to express and portray to the world. And I promise you, your fashion will be taken to the next level. When you stop trying to fit in to a specific aesthetic and start just being your own aesthetic, it's actually amazing what you can come up with. My second tip is dress for your body type. There is so much content out there on this topic. You have the Kibbe body type test, which is like your dramatic classic, your natural romantic, all of those that try and tell you, oh, you have this celebrity's body type, so you shouldn't wear blazers, or you should wear long pants, or you should wear heels. And then there's like the apple pear hourglass inverted inside out, upside down triangle that also tells you you should wear shoulder pads, you should wear a belt, you should wear pattern tights, like so many rules and stipulations around all these different body type tests and it can be so fun. I love a little BuzzFeed quiz every now and then. 
However, these should be a good starting point. They shouldn't be your Bible. You don't need to figure out exactly what body type you are and never stray from that. What you need to do is get a general idea for what your body looks like, what overall looks good on you or your body type, and observe celebrities that have similar body types to yours and understand what looks good on them. Because let's be honest, what looks good on Kendall Jenner is not necessarily gonna look good on you and that's okay and you should learn to accept that. It is a huge part of learning how to embrace your sense of style is letting go of this expectation to look like somebody else in the same outfit. It can also help you let go of some of your body dysmorphia because on one day you might look in the mirror and you're wearing an outfit and you feel fantastic. You feel like you look amazing. And the next day you put on a new outfit and suddenly you feel 10 pounds heavier. Did you gain 10 pounds? No. Do you have body dysmorphia? Maybe. Or is the outfit just incredibly unflattering on your body type? That's probably the number one reason that that's happening. So my practical advice for this tip is every single time you feel amazing in an outfit, take a picture. And not because we're gonna do an Instagram photo shoot and post it, but because it's time to start recognizing patterns. You need to recognize what kinds of clothing, what shapes, what colors, what patterns make you feel your best. Not what does the internet say about you and your broad ass shoulders, but what makes you feel good about your broad shoulders, you know? All right, tip number three, invest in your basics thrift for your statement pieces. So what is a basic? A basic is a piece that never goes out of style. It's very versatile that you can wear with so many different outfits and a piece that you're gonna keep for a long time until you replace it with the exact same thing. So a basic would be a white t-shirt, a black t-shirt, a good pair of blue jeans, a black leather jacket, the white tennis shoe, the the brown boot, the black boot, you get the idea. When I say invest, what I mean is you want high quality, well-fitted basics. This is so important to looking put together. Don't cheap out on things that you are going to wear all the time, okay? You don't have to spend big bucks on all of your clothes in order to look put together or in order to look really nice or really tailored. Honestly, looking really nice doesn't actually have to cost that much money. It's about where you put the money. So if you're on a budget and you're trying to figure out where should I spend my money when it comes to fashion, spend it on your basics. That is where you splurge. You are looking for pieces that are going to be very flattering on you. So the white t-shirt, for example. A white t-shirt can come in so many different thicknesses, different hemlines, different cuts. So what you wanna do is find one that is very high quality, that will last you a long time, and that fits your body really well. And then when I say thrift on your statement pieces, it's so important to have statement pieces when it comes to having a personal style. You need the stuff that's like unique, that's all yours that's purely about expression. Okay, so now maybe you've gotten to know your personal style a little bit better. This is when we start getting rid of shit. <laughs> Tip number four, donate clothes that you haven't worn in a year. This is huge. Not only is this ethical, good for organizing and creating room in your closet, but it's also so good for your sense of style. You should not be hanging on to pieces that you don't like and don't want to wear. My mom always says, the less that you have, the more that you wear, and it's so true. If your closet is full, so full that there are sweaters in the back of your closet that have not seen the light of day in years, and they have dust and little moths holes in them, it is time to do a clean out, okay? If your mom hasn't told you already, then let me be the one to tell you. You need to clean out your closet. This is an annual exercise at minimum. You need to go into your closet, pull things out. If you know you haven't worn it in a year, what makes you think you're gonna put it on tomorrow? Get rid of it. Donate it, seriously. Your sense of fashion should be evolving with you, especially if you're a young adult and you haven't come into yourself and you're not quite sure you know, what your aesthetic is or what makes you feel your best. Just learn to let go of things because when you let go of something old, you invite the opportunity for something new to come in. It will take a weight off your shoulders to get rid of the things you don't wear anymore. Tip number five, wear clothes that fit. Please. I say this completely with love and also coming from a place of someone who has tried to put on clothes that don't fit me anymore. Number one, if you are a young adult woman, stop trying to wear jeans that you bought when you were 16 years old at Aeropostale, okay? You're not gonna fit in them anymore. You have your womanly hips, it is okay. Your value does not go down if your jean size goes up. And I think it's 2023, we've already cleared that up. Just wanna make sure that everybody's on the same page. Also, let's remember that the size of our clothes 
varies so much. I think maybe when our moms were kids, like jean sizes actually indicated something and a size two at Aeropostale was exactly the same as a size two at Old Navy. That is just not the case in modern day. If you actually want to objectively know the measurement or size of your body, please don't use jean or dress sizes to do that because they vary so much. I'm not a big fan of the goal clothes, like the, well, I'm keeping this dress for when I can fit into it again. I used to be a personal trainer, so I get it. If that motivates you, that's a personal journey. That's on you. I'm not gonna tell you what to do with your life, okay? If it motivates you and it's a healthy source of motivation, you do you. However, I hate the idea of trying to go back in time with your body. We are only moving forward when it comes to body progress, health progress, loving ourself progress. We don't look back. We're not trying to be the same weight that we were when we were 16. We're not trying to fit into the dress or the jeans that we wore when we were a teenager. We're trying to wear dresses and jeans that make us feel great in the body that we currently have. Let's donate the jeans that don't fit us anymore and go buy jeans that feel good. And that's the second component of this. When you look good, you feel good and when you feel good, you look good. There is nothing worse than sitting at a dinner table in jeans that are too tight with the waistband literally suffocating you. Find something that fits. It's also going to look so much better on you. There's like this misconception that like if I can squeeze into this tiny tight little outfit, that will make me look smaller. One, our goal is not to be small. That is not our number one goal at all times, okay? We're not trying to shrink ourselves, we're trying to express ourselves. And two, if you actually do want to appear smaller, I can promise you that cutting off your circulation with your jeans and having your very normal level of fat spill over the side of them is not going to be the most flattering thing for your body shape. Capiche? Capash, okay. And my last and maybe most important tip is to let go of what other people think. Okay, if you really want to develop a great sense of personal style and you want to be known in your friend group as someone who is fashionable, fashion forward, on it, then you have to let go of other people's opinions of what you wear. Seriously. And I have three points about this. There's no such thing as being overdressed. Being on trend does not make you fashionable. And wearing expensive clothes or name brand clothes does not make you fashionable. But you're like, Sydney, my friends would bully me if I wore what I actually wanted to wear. Or my Pinterest boards are so cool and I've got all these wonderful ideas, but like if I was to wear that, I couldn't wear that. I couldn't wear that to school. I couldn't wear that in front of my friends or my family. They would make fun of me. Like they know me one way and I want to dress this way. Like how do I even make that jump? I mean, I know what I want to wear but I just, I don't have the balls. I can't do it, I can't do it. Neither could I. I know what it feels like to feel a certain way on the inside and to not be expressing that fully on the outside and really struggling with how to show up as your most authentic self, truly. I've been there. So here's my practical tip, probably the best tip that I could give you in this whole video. This is the gold. Go do something or go somewhere where nobody knows you and wear the most outrageous outfit or just wear an outfit that you've really been dying to wear but just don't know how to and are too afraid to do it in front of your friends or family, okay? And this is even better if it's an activity that you're going to do repeatedly. So like say you really wanna join a pottery class or something and you're gonna meet every Monday night. Take that as an opportunity to show up as the character you've always wanted to portray in the outfit and the costume you've always wanted to wear, but I've been too afraid to do so in front of your friends or family because they have this like specific idea of who you are in their heads. Go to this new place with all these people who've never met you before and show up exactly as yourself wearing the clothes you've always wanted to wear and watch how no one cares. Watch how they just accept it. Watch how they just say, oh, that's just her, that's just Sydney, that's what she wears. And you will be mind blown. It is amazing, it is so empowering. Especially if you get to show up the next Monday in an even better, even cooler, even more authentic outfit. And then the next Monday and the next Monday and you're like, wow, this is like, I could do this, I could wear this. Keep showing up, dressing exactly how you'd like in front of all these strangers and watch how much more confident you feel in front of them. And that will give you the confidence to show up as that person slowly but surely in front of your friends and family. There are no rules. This is all about learning how to express yourself authentically. So go out there and just try some stuff. Not all of it's going to feel great, but some of it is going to feel so good. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you got something out of it, let me know in the comments, shoot me a DM. I love to hear from you guys. If you liked it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click that little notification bell so that you never miss a fun video with me, Sydney, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I love you so much.